Hello my dear students, you are watching Teachers Daily, I am Rijda Sudhir here with you. Today we are going to discuss about basic concept of trigonometry. I am arranging this chapter as segments, please make sure you watch the entire class. There is a set of questions at the end of each session, you have to write the answers in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe. We can explain trigonometry with a small example. You know that trigonometry is really helpful in our life. Normally, engineers and surveyors has to find the height of their building because of their construction purpose. Similarly, if you want to know the height of your building, school, etc., you can also find the height of such building using trigonometry. Now, I am showing you a picture. Can you identify this? Yes, you are right. This is Eiffel Tower. If I ask you to find the height of this tower, how you will find? Yes, you will say, we will go to the top of this tower and we will measure it using a measuring tape. Actually, is it easy? No, it's not really easy. It's done hundreds of years back. People used to do like this. Now, it's not required because trigonometry is solving our problems. So, now we can check the height of this tower. So, now you know that this is the tower. This is the height of this tower. Now, I am standing here. This is the horizontal distance between this tower and where I am standing. So, first you have to find the horizontal distance between the tower and where I am standing. So, let us see how it will be. So, this is the height of this tower. Now, I am standing here. This is the horizontal distance between this tower and where I am standing. Suppose this is 300 meter and so I am giving a name for our tower ABC right angle at B. So, here what is the height of this tower? AB is the height of the tower. So, we found BC. BC is the horizontal distance between the tower and where I am standing. So, after finding the horizontal distance, you have to find the angle. So, I am taking angle C as my reference angle. So, after finding the angle C, you have to look at the top of this tower. Suppose this angle is 45 degree. Before solving this question, you know that I haven't taught you what is trigonometric ratios. You don't worry, I will be explaining in detail in coming sessions. So, let us see what is the height of this tower. So, you know that there are 6 trigonometric ratios sin, cos, tan, cosec, sec and cot. So, I am taking tan here. So, now I am writing here tan 45. So, let us see what is tan. Tan means it is the ratio of, it is the ratio of opposite to base. So, instead of opposite, you can write perpendicular also. Similarly, instead of base, you can write adjacent. Now, let us see in this triangle, which one is opposite side and which one is base. So, here you know that this is our reference angle. So, side opposite to reference angle is called opposite side. So, this is opposite side. The side which contains 90 degree and the reference angle is called base. So, what is tan? Ratio of opposite. So, what is opposite here? AB and what is base here? BC is equal to tan 45. AB is, so we do not know what is AB that we have to find. So, I am taking this as H that is our height. So, what is BC here? That is base 300. So, is equal to tan 45. Tan 45 is 1. So, there are values for trigonometric ratios that we can learn in coming session. So, H divided by 300 is equal to 1. So, when you do cross multiplication, you will get H is equal to 300 meter. From this, you can understand trigonometry is really easy to solve such type of question. Similarly, we can try with one more question. This example is related with our daily life. So, you can see AB is our height, BC is the base and AC is the hypotenuse. So, here one person is whitewashing the wall that we took as H. So, this is the wall. So, here you can see AC is his ladder. After that, we had to find the horizontal distance between this wall and where I am standing. I am taking this as 10 meter. You know that after finding the horizontal distance, you have to find the reference angle. So, I am taking this C as my reference angle. So, after finding the horizontal distance between, you have to look at the top of this wall. 
I am looking from here now. So, I got this reference angle is 45 degree. Let us see how we can solve this question. From this what we can write here tan 45 is equal to according to tan 45 what is the opposite here you can see side opposite to reference angle is opposite side. So, this is opposite the side which contain 90 degree and the angle is called base. So, let us see. So, tan 45 means opposite to base. So, what is opposite here? AB is opposite and base is BC. So, here I am writing tan 45. You know that tan 45 is 1. So, AB instead of AB I am writing H then BC. So, what is BC here? We already found the value of BC that is 10. So, now you can Simplify, so H is equal to 10 meter. From this you can understand the height of the wall is 10 meter. From this you can understand trigonometry is really easy to solve such type of question. I am ending today's session. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.